So step nine of the tech savvy admin is our final step. Now for the tech savvy teacher, I added an extra step of just uh, resources about the future of educational technology. So these are kind of maybe predictions and at this point kind of half baked as far as uh, coming to education. So things like virtual reality, augmented reality, uh, e-sports, those are things that are starting to trickle and find their way down into schools, but are kind of being used in very kind of limited ways as it stands right now, but could show some great promise down the line. So just kind of put that in the back of your mind of, of some other things to think about uh, future trends. But for this class, for this course, we're going to actually stop um, at this step, which is called creation as queen. Now, for those of you who are familiar with a chessboard, the queen is the most powerful piece because she can travel pretty much any direction, uh, any number of steps, and uh, she can really rule the board. So that's the idea behind this one. And creation, in a nutshell, is such a powerful force for learning uh, that these kind of uh, resources here are all about um, putting kids as well as teachers to creating because I think all of us agree that that's a great learning tool is rather than having kids write an essay, have them write a play on something or have them create a movie about something. And with today's technologies, they're so powerful and they allow for things that we couldn't have ever dreamed of even 20, 30 years ago that uh, we really, I think, as educators need to put these into our practice and into our daily lives. So for a, just an easy example, when I was in high school during the 80s, uh, you know, if I had, my friends and I had a band, in order for us to record any of the songs for a band, we basically used a, a tape recorder, which was very clunky. Everybody had to play the same thing at the same time. Um, you know, we couldn't do multiple tracks and it really didn't come out very good. And then sharing it with our friends was also expensive and, and kind of clunky. So now kids from their phones to their computers to any of their, you know, to their iPads, their Chromebooks, they can record their music right on those uh, devices. The sound quality is good. They can create multiple tracks. They can even collaborate across the mile with their friends. So there's so many great tools in just that example of creation. So hopefully that'll maybe inspire what this step is all about. So for administrators, though, one of the key things you may want to consider doing is creating a podcast. Now, this link right here will go out to Jennifer uh, Gonzalez's Cult of Pedagogy, which, you know, is one of my favorite blogs. But she walks through how to start a podcast. Now, Podcasts are great for administrators if you wanted to do a podcast, and it doesn't have to be time-consuming. Um, there's a website called Anchor that will let you create a podcast that will stream right out to iTunes uh, Podcasting Center. So you could create your own branded podcast uh, that you could even record right from your phone. On your drive home from, from work, you could record a podcast and then put it out on the web for parents and students to hear. So again, and it, you could do it three times a year if you wanted to. You could do it once a month. Again, it doesn't have to be a huge time commitment, but it adds an, an extra layer of personalization if you create your own podcast, or better yet, have a school podcast, have a teacher podcast, and have each teacher contribute once a month so it's not as, as, as big of a burden for busy teachers and busy administrators. So starting a podcast can be really cool and a lot of fun. And it also kind of helps you kind of create your, your presence through talking and presenting. So that's a one great website resource. And next to it is just um, something from NPR called Teaching Podcasting, a Curriculum Guide for Educators. So that's, again, more of a teacher guide, but something that you could share with teachers that might be interested in doing podcasting. This next resource is called Canva. If you haven't seen this, it basically will create digital posters. So that's great for maybe events. Say you want to create an event that you want to put on your website. You could uh, create a really creative, um, you know, uh, presentation so that you could really highlight your event. You could also use it for infographics. Say you're going to present in front of the Board of Education. You could create an infographic to represent data uh, in a more creative way that uh, will be more meaningful. 
for the, the people on the other end. So Canva is a great one. Um, AutoDraw is a really fun one. If you want to make your own creations, but you're not that good of an artist, I'll change this up a little bit. I'll start from scratch. So say I want to uh, draw a school bus. So notice I've clicked on the AutoDraw. All the icons for creation are over here. I've clicked on AutoDraw. And say I want to make a school bus for a back to school presentation that I'm going to put on my letterhead. And yeah, forgive me, I'm using a iPad and mouse. So not so not so awesome. So let me just do that. Got a little clunky. Uh, hey, there's a bus. That looks like it. So once you start drawing, uh, the artificial intelligence starts kind of reading. Uh, hopefully you're drawing to try and figure out what you're what you're doing. So I'm gonna click on that. Eh, maybe not the best school bus, so let's try that one. That one looks pretty good. So now I took kind of a clunky drawing and made a great drawing. Again, this is great for some students, especially younger students that may not be able to draw just yet. They're starting to learn. This gives them the opportunity to start a drawing and then go from there. And say I want to maybe add yellow color, I can just click this paint bucket and click on that and that'll make it there. If I click on the T for text, I can get uh, welcome back to school. Okay, and then I could even, if I wanted to, click the auto draw again, see if I could create maybe a little person down here. Let's see if we can get that. We've got an angel, maybe not so good. I guess this looks more like an angel than a person. So if all else fails, let's just go ahead and make an angel here just so you can see. Because all of our students are angels anyways. And then we can move that uh, angel around. So a lot of really creative things you can do with this. And then you can just save them. Click that and you can either share it through social media or get a link to it. Or you can download it as a PNG file. And then bring it into a, a PowerPoint, uh, a Word document, anything you'd like to send to uh, out to parents and students. So a really fun way to start drawing and creating. And that is called auto draw. Quick draw is similar, but it's basically have gives you, I think, 10 seconds to draw different items. And so that's really just developing your, your creativity. Um, over here, I've got uh, SketchUp. Uh, SketchUp is a great tool by Google. And if you sign in using your Google account, this is the online version. There's also a, a full, full program that you can start designing um, for your, your CAD kids. But if you go here, I'm just going to make a very simple rectangle. Whoops. Let's just do that. Again, this is very rudimentary. But once I've connected, then I can use my push tool and I could again make this into a house I could do all kinds of things with it so this is called SketchUp it's a free program by Google uh, you will need to consider uh, signing up I think you have to sign have a Google account so uh, check the, the usage for that but uh, this is a really fun program for creating three 3d designs so that's SketchUp and that's the online version Adobe Spark is a great tool for creating both presentations. You can create books. You can create drawings. Uh, Sway is Microsoft's program. So instead of a PowerPoint, you can create a Sway. That'll be a complete multimedia uh, design tool. It's really awesome. Sway, I, I can't recommend that one highly enough for, for just changing up the dynamic of your presentation. Again, if you're in Office 365 school, uh, Book Creator will create kind of an online book for you. Uh, here's a video contest that you could check out. Again, CoSpaces is a 3D design tool. Again, more for students. Blender is a, a high-end free program. Download it to a computer. You don't need an account. You can download it right to, a, again, a higher-end computer from a, a laptop, desktop, or a Mac computer is the Blender program. Again, it's free, and it creates 3D designs that are pretty awesome and amazing. And then again, Adobe has some creation tools 
We talked a little bit about screen recording, which is what I'm doing now, and the last step in Screencastify. So those are two kind of video programs. Here's a guide for 3D if you want, are interested in learning more about 3D. So uh, these are some just great resources to help both you, your teachers, and hopefully students to create. We live in such a powerful age of technology that allows us to create and share. Let's take advantage of them. So that's what this step is all about.